evening, ladies as well as gentlemen. I'm Papa Boris playing some more Overfall here. We gotta finish this final quest. This meter is starting to get real close. So what I'm gonna do is I don't know what I need this dust for. I'm just gonna use up a ton of dust and sail super fast up to the next quest. I don't know where it shows like how much dust you have activated. So I don't know when how you're supposed to know when to use dust again. But uh, let's do this. Grassland Adventure. Ooh, increases direct damage on grass islands by one. Hey, so he's like afraid of forests and arctic, but man, this guy loves the fucking grass. All right. Um, where's the queen? Okay, lead the way. Here we are. Oh my god, the queen is old! <laughs> Holy mother of the creator, what is this? Okay, so apparently there's some kind of issue here. The, uh, the the Hollows, whom the elves are fighting, are actually using biological warfare to, like, kill the elves off with this wasting sickness. Oh, man, that said, I'm not... I mean, the Hollows seem cool. They're all, like, animals who wear shorts, but, man, I'm not a fan of biological warfare. Okay. Mm, that's not good. All right, so we need to uh, basically cure the plague. All righty, so let's go ahead and do this. Where's the quest? Down here. Let's pop some dust and shoot on over there. Try to get this done before the Vorn complete their ship or whatever the fuck. Mm okay, fire or the path to the mountain? Let's check out the campsite. Good thing they didn't see you. Why don't we say hello or charge? Um, yeah, let's just take the direct approach. Oh, man. Okay, so it's four on four. These guys are all fast. They're all pigs. They all have a speed of four. That one might have had a speed of five. Nope, four, 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 and four. But because they don't have any ranged attacks, we're going to get to attack them first. And they're also going to go into AoE formation, it seems, which is nice. So I can jump in here and hit them both with a cleave. And let the rest of my party take care of that. That seems that seems good. Let's let's pile on the damage. This guy has precision, which I'm not that bothered by. Let's incapacitate the one who's more forward to stop him from going to the back row, and then cleave to attack them both. Kaboombo, bada boombo. Oh yes, I'm gonna get to hit them all with a volley. This is gonna be nice. Trauma taking damage, not a big deal. I can get the volley in there, not a big deal. I let's see, one, two, three, four, five for the volley. And five for, I'm just gonna pop into the corner. There's no reason to be close to this wolf. So I can strip their buffs. I can make them blind. Let's strip these buffs. Precision protection, especially protection. I like getting rid of. And uh, it doesn't get much better than this. So we're gonna deal about 12 damage to the enemy team. Yep, that's exactly what happens. Fiery burning, I'm not that jazzed about. So I can try to contribute to damage here. I um, might have to step, take a step forward though to do that. Don't really want to be within striking distance of this pig. This pig I can't get away from. So I could, I guess, do a fiery walk and just accept my fate of being attacked by this pig, but I don't I don't want to do that. So maybe this is the time to use Soul Feast, which is a range of five, so I can hit Soul Feast from where I'm standing. I'm going to put Bone Poor and Tormented on this guy, so he takes a damage for every step he takes, every move he makes, and every breath he takes. And then we're going to Soul Feast down here to hit both these guys for three. It wastes the heal, but I think the damage is more valuable than the heal. Okay, so I can pull my guy forward. That doesn't uh, seem that useful. I think a more useful thing is to hit all these guys with a wave of light. So to do that, I believe I'd have to stand right there. I'm never quite sure how wave of light works, but that seems good enough. Trauma, I can dispel that and save three damage. I guess I could have gotten up and feared one, but... Nah, screw it. So, um, or I can put a Numbing Light. I think the Numbing Light's fine, because doesn't that give protection? No, it gives Aegis. Okay, so he's still gonna take the damage, but it'll get countered by the regeneration. And Wave of Light, we're gonna hit all three of these bitches. Can I kill any of them? Oh man, none of them died. This guy does have trauma, so he will die. This guy is disarmed, so he's not attacking, so I picked the right one to disarm, it seems. And the Warlock got hit a little bit, but it's not too bad. It could have been a lot worse. So, him. How, is he, how am I going to deal that last two damage? I think the most logical way is with a Holy Nova, using the Cleric. So, for that then, I'm going to want to stand, like, here. 
Trauma weakness vulnerable. Alright, we need the unbreakable to get rid of some of these buffs. Got rid of all of them. Very nice. And we're gonna chip chop chew to hit that guy. Oh man, he went away to Oh, that's not good. Oh boy. Oof. I'm lucky he didn't hit any harder. Okay, so the warlock's in a bit of a pickle. But let's go here. No reason to do blind. Let's just do this. I used up my AoE, but I should be able to kill this guy. A little bit of help from my poison-tipped arrow. Okay, let's go ahead and just do a burning walk. Oh, maybe this is the way to do it. Yeah, let's put agony on him. That plus the burning should kill him. And then we can turn around, and we are just in range to do some damage. This guy clearly has some protection. Protection's a very, very good buff. Alright, now he's in range of pull, so we can heal him. Um, unfortunately, that means I can't do a Holy Nova, but this guy's going to die regardless. Right, so I can dispel the trauma? I think I want to dispel the trauma. That seems pretty good at saving two damage. At least. Not more, and then we're gonna Holy Nova just to heal him up. So he comes back, he's gonna hit the Warlock. Oh, you fucker. Uh, it doesn't doesn't hit very much though. That guy dies of his grievous injuries. We'll keep my warrior where he is. Earthcracker, oh, incapacitates back, yes please. Although I have a feeling this guy's gonna die and that'll cancel out the incapacitation, so that was actually a mistake. Whoops. Chip chop choo. Alrighty. Don't need to use the Mending Retreat. Yeah, he's enraged, and so the incapacitation doesn't happen. Neither of those will actually do anything. So we're going to try to put a bleed on him. And he's dead. Alright, that could have been a lot worse. You've literally fried their bacon! Uh, okay, continue to the mountain. I don't even know if that was worth it, but whatever. Maybe that makes something else easier later on. Okay, what is this? One, two, three, four. I could probably take them. Six, though! I mean, six is a lot. Six... I, I'd, I'd be hurting. Listen, I come in peace, I'll suck this through. <laughs> What's that? Um, and we're trying to bluff these hollows. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, she's, so he's letting us go into the cave. Okay, that's good. I don't think I wanted to do that fighting. All right, so we're gonna start looking. Or now, where did I put that map I had found? Okay, good. Go to the pits. Beacon. All right, we're corrupting the magical energy. Okay, can we uncorrupt it? No, oh, no. Oh boy. Oh jeez. Well, yeah. Oh god. All right, this is gonna be a tough. Whoa, that's a lot of hollows. So we haven't had any troubles yet. I really should have eaten some food and just topped myself off. Oh, man. Okie doke. They were elven. Um, I guess no way is the thing I want to say. Alright. Okay, continue. All right, we found, okay, and, uh, turning them into beasts, okay, uh, you have a meaningless death, all right, so he monologued a little bit, yep, should have really healed, oh, I couldn't heal the warlock, I wasn't on the ship, yeah, this was like an endurance challenge, okay, so, um, I think the most logical way to go about this, this is a nice, uh, enclosed area, which is really to the disadvantage of the hollows themselves, because they don't have any ranged attacks, as far as I know, unless this lion does, so, um, it's nice that we have all these choke points, although here's, this is one case where I wouldn't have minded having an extra tank. Alright, I'm going to put my warrior there. I'm going to save the jump for later. I might need it. We're going to incapacitate this guy. And we're going to go get the chip chop chopping. So he's just stuck where he is. This other guy walks up behind him. And now the warlock. Okay, so how do we do this? I think I want a soul feast here, so let's just hide in the corner. And think. Bone poor and tormented. I'm just not sure this guy's actually gonna use any skills or do any movement. Weakness and vulnerable on this guy might save me some damage. And agony would deal damage to him, but I might want to get rid of some buffs later. So let's do this. We'll save a little bit of damage from taking like one less hit from him. And um, we will also deal more damage to him because of the vulnerability. So he's stuck where he is. 
He puts on a bunch of crap, it all goes away, so he's bleeding and vulnerable. All right, it's fine. These guys are now both mighty. Oh boy, I want to dispel that. Really do not want them to deal bonus damage. Now he has a he has a speed of three. I can't get away from him unless I actually mending retreat tactically to get out of the range of his attack. Um, that's worth it, right? I mean, that's it's like I'm giving up three health by doing this when I'm not injured, but I'm certainly gonna take at least three damage from his attack. So yeah, why don't I why don't I just do mending retreat for the extra point of movement? Get over here. Um. Lightning reflexes or flare? I mean, this thing is going to go away on its own, so I might as well do lightning reflexes. And I think I need a volley down here. The reason is I need to get damage going on these guys because there's a choke point here. They're not going to get through anyway, so I really do need to just, like, get to work on these guys. Yeah, the, the terrain here really works to my advantage in a major way. All right, we're going to go here. This is out of range of everyone. Um... And let's see, let's think about numbing light on the warlock. Got it on herself as well. We have a light, maybe I could have hit them both if I'd come up there, I'm not sure. As it is, I think hammer time makes sense. So we're gonna hammer this guy. Put some damage on him. So he is traumatized and confused. The trauma, by the way, is from the weapon upgrade that occasionally puts out trauma. So I can actually jump over to here. Do I want to do this? Do I wanna jump over here? And then the hollow wolf will go after the warlock. So the warlock could kill this wolf before the wolf gets to go. I mean, that's an interesting idea. The question is just, do I want to be here? The alternative is that I could just kill this with my attack. Oh, man. Or I could actually jump here, use this choke point to stop these guys from coming in this way. But the problem is, then stuff's going to start coming in through here. Basically, by jumping over, I am going to let this uh, this bear get through, or this, this pig get through. I want to try it, just for learning's sake. I think this might be the correct answer to the situation. So, Unbreakable doesn't do anything at the moment, so we're just going to Vulnerable them, mostly to get rid of that buff than for any other reason. And we're going to Chip Chop Chow the pig. So the pig is currently stuck, so he has to attack the warrior for the time being. And then the warlock comes up. So, okay, he's bleeding. He's going to take a damage. He's got four hit points. I can burn him, I think, once. But I think what I really want to do... So I want to just, uh, I can actually walk up to this guy and use the Warlock as a choke point on this side? That's an idea. I don't know if that's a good idea, but it's an idea. I could get, I could get to burning and I can mostly kill him. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this. Oh, I can't get through, right, cause the, cause I blocked my people in. Whoops. Okay, so I, I need to just not move. I keep forgetting in this game you can't actually, um, go through your allies. So Bone Porn and Tormented, every movie makes takes a damage and every skill he uses takes a damage. He's going to take one damage from bleeding, two from moving up to me. So then if he attacks me, he's going to die. So I think that's a pretty sensible approach. And then Confusion of Agony. Okay, this thing, do I want to kill it now? That's the question. Or do I want to get to work on this thing? Now let's just kill him. Kill this, this guy over here. So this guy takes damage and he decides not to move. All right, so the Minotaur is going to get here soon. That's scary. Oh, haste. Man, they should really put haste on themselves way sooner because it's a very useful ability for, you know, people who have to go on land. All right, um, get rid of a buff. Apply blind. Let's just get rid of a buff. Oh, this guy doesn't attack. Interesting. I thought he'd be, you know, in the battle, but I guess not. All right, is this guy going to die? He's got two hit points. He does have agony and trauma, and they're both going to kill him, so I don't need to attack him. We can just shoot this dude. So my warrior's doing okay. He's confused, he's taking damage, he's dazed. Alright, she needs to um, dispel. She can reach him with a dispel from where she is. I can do a faithful pull, but I'm not sure that there's much value to it, because these guys are pretty well protected, but whatever, we'll just do it anyway. We'll dispel, hopefully, three of things. Nope, just two. And then, we have a light. I can only hit one or one. This guy will live. This guy will die, so we're going to wave of light this way to kill the one who can actually be killed. Ah, we got a miss. Hmm, okay. Am I confused? I'm dazed. Alright, so I do get to remove these debuffs, which is quite nice. Alright, this guy, I could just kill him, and I don't know why I wouldn't. Let's just get rid of that. 
And this guy has three hit points. I don't think I can burn him twice, though. I think I can only burn him once. But I could put Dark Purge on him, which would give him agony. Ah, oh, he would still survive for one. So maybe if I do just come up and, uh, and burn for one. So there's one damage, two damage, three damage just from skills. And then I can't hit the bull anymore, but at least I can hit this guy, this lizard, and help my warrior finish him off. So he dies of all the horrific afflictions imposed upon him by the warlock. And then this guy misses, which is fine by me. Let's step a little bit forward. Um, don't need to blind anybody, so we'll go for the lightning reflexes. And now let's think. Do I take care of this? Eight damage or take care of that? This guy, if I shoot him, he's going to be executable by the warrior, so I think that's the more logical person to shoot. Okay, so he deals a little bit of damage to me. Alright, we are up to the priest now. I think she's fine where she is, so we'll skip the movement. Put some numbing light on my warrior. Thank you, bonus range. Holy Nova doesn't make any sense. I might as well just drop the hammer and do as much damage as possible. He's confused, so no utilities for him. Stay where I am, and I might as well incapacitate him just in case I miss this attack. But now he should die. Great. All right, the warlock is fine where he is. Weakness and vulnerable, bone poor, tormented. The person's not um, immune to any of these things from being enraged. Guess we'll go for weakness and vulnerable, so I deal more damage. And I actually healed up in this fight. 16! Alright, that's part, part of that is because he was taking double damage. Alright, uh, blah blah blah. I'm not afraid to die. Push him into the plague pit. Well, okay. Um, da -da 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 -da. The hollows have come to an end. The powers of the ancient beacon are yours to use. Alright, beacon has been activated. Great. Alright, we're up, we're up to a last stand now, so let's go ahead and start that party. Where is it? Port? Portal or last stand? That is far away as shit. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna pop some dust here. I'm gonna sail on like the wind here. I'm ignoring the islands. I uh, I think I just I think I'm strong enough now. I, I mean I've gotten all the upgrades. Oh, you know what would have been good? Ah, uh, I should have I should have kept my eyes peeled for. Um. For uh, what's it called? Altars. Oh, okay, I don't really want to fight the Vorn, so I'm going to pop a Dust, try to try to lose him. Okay, I'm going to get this box of supplies. Maybe it's more Dust than I can keep doing it. No, it's more Frags. So if I had found a Merchant Ship, maybe I could have turned some of the Frags into more Dust for faster sailing. I don't know. Okay, so here we go. It's the last stand. Everybody should probably just be at full health going into this. No reason to take chances. Let's do this. Kaboom! You've arrived at the island of the new gang. Proceed to the bridge. You may proceed. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Okay. Da, 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 da. You should know the truth about the Ever King! I had a and then there's, there's stuff. This would probably be a lot more meaningful if we had but taken the time to read the story, which we measure. didn't. Can I skip this? Oh, God, I can't skip this. Power. He cast okay. a long well, anyway, spell, opening a portal to another dimension. That's the that's that. In the weave of a lot of sailing, and then a really anticlimactic end. ending with no the fighting or anything like that. So uh, yeah, I guess I could skip this. Step. You really every time you be, every time you beat the game, you have to watch this story. He washed uh, up on the shores of an alien world. This, this is this is really cool. Don't get me wrong. This is very cool years, art, and the writing's pretty good. And an but. Yeah, for video making purposes, I, I don't want to watch this every single time. The disc is what binds Probably just cut it if I keep playing this that game. Why he do this again. Oh my god, is there really the more disc destroyed, there will be Oh god, there's so much cutscene. Okay, slowing down, slowing down. Yeah, slowing down. Slower. No, no, it's I'll not over. Back to the very beginning. Not even close. Is it close to over? Nope. Oh, not even. Can you stop the ever <sighs> So, <laughs> thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed that. Please like and or subscribe if you enjoyed this series. And let's see here. So, we got some unlocks, which is cool. We got the Warlock. We got the Circle of Grace, the utility skill. I imagine that's the Clerics. 
We got the Insignia of Balance. I don't know whose trinket that is. And we got a new class, Guardian. Nice. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look, shall we? Um, if I press restart, there we go. So now we have a new class that we can use. We can use the Guardian as opposed to the Fighter. The Guardian's all different looking. Um, and then I'm very curious who, let's go back to the fighter, who's trinket? Or are the trinkets universal? Oh, the trinkets are universal, I see. So we have a new trinket to choose from. Wait, are they the universal? Wait a minute, they're not. Arcane magnet. Oh, wait, so I can actually, like, I didn't realize this. I guess some of these, um, initial ones I could put on the, on the cleric, and I can put some of the ones the cleric starts with, maybe on the warrior? Like, let's take a look. Chalice of the Angel is what? It's this thing. Can I put that on the warrior? I don't know. It's a vampiric insignia. So some of them are the same, but some of them aren't. So the insignias, I guess, are the different ones. These are chalices. These are seeds, essence. Seeds, essence. Okay, so those are actually the same. Those are the ones that are shared. Arcane Magnet, those seem to be the same as well. Bloodstone. Yep. I had the Beholder and Cram's Charm. Yeah, okay, so only the leftmost column changes for the class. So this this Insignia Balance is unfortunately not the best trinket because it really only seems like it works for the fighter. Deal plus one damage when your health is below 50%. That is terrible. That is unbelievably bad. I would never, ever, ever use this. Arcane Magnet, you have a 25% chance to steal one buff from every adjacent foe on turn start. Now that is a quality thing because the fighter is going to be up at the front lines, and so when the enemy buffs themselves, the fighter will be able to potentially steal some of the buffs, which can be really, really strong. Okay, so we got that. Um, I didn't get any weapons, though. And as far as trinkets for her, yeah. Um, this is pretty junky, and that's, I guess, only one of them can use it, right? Yeah, if, if, he, if she uses that, which is a terrible person to give the arcane magnet to, then the fighter cannot use it. Okay, anyway, thanks so much, everybody, for watching, as always. Please like and or subscribe if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you again soon with some more Overfall. Take care.